What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we're diving into the next one off of the Just Trey album. This is the title track, A Painter's Canvas. Super stoked for another one off this album. Sorry I've been gone for a few days. You boys got a lot of stuff going on right now. Started up school and all kinds of other shit that I'm working on. Working on music. I started school, so... Balancing out the schedule to slide the reactions into that new stuff that I have going on. So, it's it's been a task. It's been a, I've had to really double down on time management over the last week or two. It's been a little bit of a struggle, but I think we got it now. I think we're good now. We should be good. <laughs> I appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you so much for tuning in, Creek Squad. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics, the instrumentation. I've really loved every song on this album. Very diverse. Lots of different beat styles. Many different flow styles. Incredible storytelling. Lots of flexing and lots of reminding people that they should have never doubted just Trey and that they should have believed in him and supported him in his dreams because now he's actually made something of himself and he's proved ever he has proven everybody wrong that said that he would not do that so that's the best right there that's the best right there kudos to just Trey for getting out there and really using his voice to say all of the true messages on his mind to tell his story and then all at the same time to remind the doubters that he has pursued what they said he could never do and become successful at it. That's the best right there, man. So I'm really glad to be here doing this album for you guys. Like I said, I've really, really enjoyed it so far. Lots of bangers on this. I'm interested to see what he gives us with the title track for it. So we going to get into this for you. If you guys struggle with mental health or addiction, anybody that's watching, please go get yourself professional help. I had to do it for my own self. I had a lot of messed up shit going on in my life. And balancing that out was a very difficult thing for me to do. It took me, a, it took me my whole life. I struggled with it since I was in middle school, and it took me up until two years ago to finally quit drinking alcohol and start getting my shit together a bit. Now I'm on here doing this stuff with you guys, and it's a blessing. It really is. So never think that you can't end up in a better place, man. I promise you, you can end up in a place that you never thought you would have. And that's usually what will happen to you if you take that step to go get better and get clean for yourself. So. Don't ever let that doubt stop you from going and getting help. Listen to the advice you're given. Accept the advice that they are giving you. Really, genuinely accept it. It will help you tremendously, even though you're not going to want to listen at the time. I promise you, it's worth it to listen to it. It'll put you in a better place. It'll open up your mind to better things. It'll make you view the world in a better way. Don't ever give up. Please. Go get help if you need it and live a better life. And then inspire others on the other side to do the same thing also. We're going to get into this for you. On Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. <laughs> this is a painter's canvas by Just Trey. I love you, Bobby. This is what you call... He starts and you immediately have to just appreciate it every time. He said, I'm the one they tried to ride on. Now these walls are the ones that they can't climb on. Because <laughs> I painted myself. I'm the one they couldn't ride on. Built my walls couldn't so you can't climb on. on. Not to swim to go across yeah. these barbed wires. Send you right home. No ropes are tight the enough. You're bleeding you off from what you died on. Was shaking too much. Oh my God. Ropes are tight enough. Now you're bleeding. He said, damn. I'm on not the stream to go across these barbed wires, send you right home. No ropes yeah. are tight enough, you bleed enough from what you died on. Was shaking too many Bleeding hands, out. I figured out who likes you right, wrong. Too many young Man, shaking too many hands. I'm starting to feel that. 
energy of a lot of people being around him trying to be inside of his energy and everything like that that's something you have to learn to deal with is the people fucking all around you and always having voices going on around you people having stuff to say you know and some of it not very nice at all you have to really adjust to that and he raps about it and i like that Enough from what you died on was shaking too many hands. I figured out who likes who right wrong. Too many yeah. artists, but not enough artists to paint a canvas. Not enough paint on the brush to Too many artists, but not enough artists to paint a canvas. He's saying that there's a bunch of artists, but most of them aren't actually artists, right? If you look into the industry, it's a bunch of people with fucking ghost writers that do what they're told and Sometimes they get shelved for years and don't even get to put albums out. Like, it's ridiculous. They'll take an artist and make them not an artist and just use them as a promotional tool to make their self money. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's the kind of stuff he's talking about when he says bars like that. Is that there's so many artists in the industry that aren't even actually in it for the art. And what he's saying is, I'm here to paint a canvas with my songs. I want to paint a picture for you and give you something with substance to learn from and grow from and relate to when you listen to it. I fucking like that. I love it. Too many artists, but not enough artists to paint a canvas. Not enough paint on the brush to paint the paint and do some damage. Others look a little dull, they bite. Not enough paint on the brush to fucking... Put it on the canvas and do some damage. Damn. <laughs> Too many artists, but not enough artists to paint the canvas. Not enough paint on the brush to paint the paint and do some damage. Others yeah. look a little dull. They bite enough what they get handed. Recommend. <sighs> Colors look a little dull. They're biting off what they get handed. Damn. That's crazy. They're biting off what they get handed. That could be talk. You could be talking about like advances that record labels give to the artists, or how they like build their image and shit like that. And that's the bite. That's the cash grab right there. Is that exact thing? But it usually, in many circumstances, can lead to being tremendously in debt with the labels themselves, and you don't want to be there. It's not a, no, you don't want to be there. <laughs> Pain and do some damage. Others look a little dull. They bite enough what they get handed. Recommend you let the canvas paint itself so you understand it. Write my vows on every track. I recommend you let the canvas paint itself so that you can understand it. He's the canvas. He's saying, I recommend you let me paint this picture for you and tell you what it all is, because otherwise you're just going to sound like an idiot that doesn't know what you're talking about. <laughs> when it comes to me, he says. <laughs> That's how I take that bar. He might have meant it in a different kind of vein. Obviously, it's subjective whenever it comes to viewing music and lyricism but that's how i take that bar i really love that though i like it i love the way he's playing off of a, a literal canvas and being a painter but he's rapping about it and that's really cool i like that it's a nice little mesh of the different forms of art meeting each other i like it it's really cool Damage, others look a little dull, they bite enough what they get handed. Recommend you let the canvas paint itself so you understand it. Write my yeah. vows on every track like I owe you. Cause I've been yeah. married to this canvas, every painting paint the truth. My hands will never yeah. get carpal tunnel, my brush of wood is blue. My roots are sticking to this core. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's painting the picture. It's an appropriate album and song type. Let the canvas paint itself so you understand. He said, write my vows on every track like I, yeah, write my vows on every track like I owe you, he said. Reach to this canvas, every painting, paint the truth, my hands will never get truth. caught, turn on my brush of wood is blue, my roots are sticking. Man, paint the truth, he says my hands won't get carpal tunnel. 
says there's no carpal tunnel coming. I'm not even tired or worn at all. I've been married to this canvas, every painting paint the truth. My hands will never get carpal tunnel. My brush of wood is blue. My roots are sticking to yeah. this poor backwoods that you can't move. In my leaves are like a canopy that keeps me going. Never sleep. My trunk has different layers to provide. Leaves are like a canopy that keeps me going, he said. Brush of wood is blue, my roots are sticking to this core backwards. Now you can't move in my leaves are like a canopy that keeps me going. Never sleep, my trunk has different layers to provide my family sparingly. My music is my hardwood. If I pass away, I never leave. And even if I get older, still. <sighs> my music is my heart. And if I pass away, I'll never leave. You fucking tell them, bro. You tell them. Sparingly, my music is my hardwood. If I pass away, I never leave. And even if I get older, still grow into a bigger Said tree. I don't need no money, got what I need. Even if I get old, I'll still grow into a bigger tree. <sighs> into a bigger tree, he said. Man, I love it. I fucking love it. If this thing would let me pull it back, that would be great. There we go. <laughs> Music is my hardwood. If I pass away, I never leave. And even if I get older, still grow into a bigger Said tree. I don't need no money. Got what I need right here. Roots all around me. I'm that breath of fresh air. Leaves in yeah. the breeze. I've been standing right here. So it's all for my people. I'm what people want to hear. I don't oh, wow. I love that. Oh my god, that's that hook style reminds me of somebody, and I can't fucking think of who it is. I'm not really that pressed about figuring out who it is, but that hook style reminds me of somebody, and it's really specific, but I can't remember exactly who right now. Roots all around me, I'm that breath of fresh air. Leaves in the breeze, I've been standing right here. So it's all yeah. for my people, I'm what people want to hear. Stood tall for his people, he said. I like the play on, like, nature and that kind of scheme he's got going on, especially with this hook here. I want to pull it the whole way back because I want to hear the, the first bar of the chorus, too, again. I don't need no money, got what I need right here. Roots all around me, I'm that breath of fresh air. Roots all around me, I'm that breath of fresh air. Very, very nice right there. You are a breath of fresh air. I've literally said that before in reacting to one of your songs. I remember that. I said, this kid right here is a fucking breath of fresh air. Thank God for him. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Leaves in the breeze, I've been standing right here. Leaves in the breeze, I've been standing right here. It's all for my people, I'm what people want to hear. Stood tall for my people, I'm what people want to hear. Yes, you fucking are. You're exactly what we need. Real, raw, telling the story, staying true to the fan base that you have created for yourself. I don't like calling it a fan base. I like saying supporters or community or family even, right? Family even is the best word for it. We create communities and families with our art and with our pursuits here on the internet. Whatever that is, right? That's the whole point of the journey is to build a beautiful community and family together of like-minded people who can all get in one place and enjoy something together and also discuss all of it together. And it's a really beautiful thing that we're able to do that. And you've certainly done that. You have certainly done that. You should be very proud of yourself. I don't need no money. Got what I need right here. Roots all around me. I'm that breath of fresh air. Leaves in the breeze. I've been standing right here. So it's all for my people. I'm what people want to hear. Nowadays, they never want to work. That's not how this whole rapping works. They think they can... Nowadays, they never want to work. That's not how this whole rapping works. <sighs> Yeah, making rap music is a fucking task, I'll tell you what. It might seem like it just gets done really fast and all the stuff just gets thrown together, but the process behind the, same, the scenes is a level of mayhem that most people wouldn't even consider to want to endure with herself. It's a lot of fun. 
very much so a lot of fun a lot of creativity going on inside of your life and your mind all the time but the the process of like crafting it all and putting it out there for people and then promoting trying to build it up into something that means a lot to people it's a lot of fucking work it, it's more work than you could ever imagine if 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 you were to compare it to a day job as an independent rapper you're actually going to do more work than you do at a day job because it's going to be 24-7. You're never going to clock out and you're going to look at the clock and it's going to be 5 and 6 in the morning sometimes. And you're going to be like, holy crap, I haven't slept. And I'm still working on all this music and shit. And that's the grind, man. That's the fucking grind. It's a lot of work. People want to hear. Nowadays they never want to work. That's not how this whole rapping works. They thinking they can write a verse and turn their life around with words. Gonna eat shit and sleep beside this. Man, they think that they can write a verse and turn their life around with words. No, you have to actually apply yourself. You have to have a formula behind it in some ways, right? You have to apply yourself and really go out there and build a bond and a relationship with the people that are your supporters and you have to get to know them and let them get to know you and really network a lot and fucking put yourself out there in the world and be dedicated to being seen by people like that's what he's talking about saying you can't just put the words down onto paper and then put a song out and like expect that to change your whole life you have to actually apply yourself and do it over and over and over and over again until you've built something with it. Until people are like, holy crap, this person has put out so many good things that it's undeniable that they should be recognized at this point. And that's exactly what Just Trey has done. This is his 11th album, I believe. Are we on 11? Is 11 about to... This one's 10, I believe. And uh, Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we got 11 on the next one, which I'm very interested in. We haven't even finished this one yet, but I'm already thinking about the next one. And you got new music videos that I got to do, too. You got so much. <laughs> and they can write a verse and turn their life around with words. Can I eat shit and sleep beside the studio so they feel the words? That's why I talk this shit and I maneuver through the ceiling first. Those ceilings. <laughs> I love the bluntness. It just comes out of nowhere sometimes. Every now and then he has a one-liner that really cracks me up with how smart ass he is in it, but he's like making a very solid and valid point at the same time while kind of flexing and talking his shit a bit. And they can write a verse and turn their life around with words. Gonna eat shit and sleep beside the studio so they feel the words. Gotta eat shit and sleep beside the studio so they feel the words precisely. Yes. I never leave mine. <laughs> We're in it right now. Right? <laughs> and I, I stay a lot of time in here. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I don't always like it. <laughs> Sometimes I be what I be like wanting to go do anything. Sometimes I'm like I just want to look at the sky and shit and see the world. But yeah, you'll start spending so much time working on it and grinding, being in the studio. You'll start to go. You'll start to drive yourself stir crazy in the studio, Cause, and then you get like you'll get weirdly addicted to making music. And it becomes this therapeutic thing that you can't go without. But it's a healthy outlet instead of a negative one. And it helps other people too. And then it comes full circle through that. Yeah, what he's talking about here is some real shit. When you actually take the time to have the conversation about it more in depth a little bit. Than the obviously you can say in the bars of a song. It's really true, what he's talking about. 
you have to apply yourself 100% fully and really dedicate to it. You really do. That's why I talk this shit and I maneuver through the ceiling first. Those ceilings, motherfucker, married to the game. I'm Lil Wayne. Add a little flavor wow. through the speakers with that country twang. Catch me rolling through the. Mm, he's like Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne with some fucking country twang. I like that. I love it. I love the Lil Wayne reference. They feel the words, that's why I talk this shit and I maneuver through the ceiling first. Those ceilings, motherfucker, married to the game. I'm Lil Wayne. Add a little yeah. flavor through the speakers with that country twang. Catch me rolling through the countryside and bumping wing, wing. Got wings for any altitude, don't slow down, I don't play. I'm I got wings for any altitude, never slowing down. I, uh, <laughs> I'm not playing. <laughs> It's like a triple, actually. Play in, but then plane that flies, and then plane as in boring. <laughs> that was really slick. I caught that. He's got Wayne bumping through the speakers, but he's like Wayne with some country twang as well. I love it. I love the giving the flowers, but then also saying I'm just like him as well with my own spin on my style but that's one of my influences and i'm still bumping him he says then he can he never fails at any altitude right never playing he said <laughs> it's fucking great i love it and catch me rolling through the countryside and bumping wing wing got wings for any altitude don't slow down i don't play i'm never burnt yeah. out can burn out these rappers whole lane come to these country wow. hills i can show you how we do things you never smoke yeah. so why you coughing laying down avoiding pain how the <laughs> never smoke so why you coughing laying down avoiding pain <laughs> country hills i can show you how we do things you never smoke so why you coughing laying down avoiding pain how the boys known to how the we ain't built the same Coming from nothing just like the bottom of the woodwork Growing pains on the sides of these creeks with no rehearse Bitch, I'm built to last forever wow. better Hold on, hold on Hold on just a second here I gotta pull it back We ain't missing those He goes off really quickly In bursts sometimes It says a whole lot <laughs> With the wordplay And I like that he gets more and more complex with it as it goes on, right? As the track goes on, it starts to build more and more and more, become more and more aggressive and complicated and more bar heavy. I like his build style with these songs as well. The pain, how the boys known to how the back, we ain't built the same. Coming from oh. nothing just like the bottom of the woodwork, growing pain. Coming from nothing, just like the bottom of the woodwork. That is a fucking bar right there. Of the sides of these creeks with no rehearse. Bitch, I'm built to last forever. Better do your research. Ain't afraid of motherfuckers trying to knock down my wood. I don't need. He said, I'm built to last forever. You better do your research. I ain't scared of motherfuckers trying to tear down my woodwork. Man. Tying it all together. I love how he ties the bars together with each other as well. Very, very nice. I like that he his bars like kind of resemble building houses and shit like that sometimes. And I, I love stuff like that because my very first job, those of you that have been here for a while already know this. At 16, I started hanging drywall. Well, technically, my first job was delivering newspapers when I was like nine, but... That's besides the point. My first, like, real job when I was close to being an adult was hanging drywall. And I did that for quite a few years of my life. It was a very valuable skill to learn. I still remember pretty much everything that I learned while I was doing it. And it, and it's something that could be very beneficial for things down the line in life whenever I have my own house and stuff like that. If I ever want to do anything to the walls and shit like that, it could be very beneficial knowledge to have. So I'm glad that I was taught that by my dad. And I relate to 
all of Just Trey's bars when it comes to the building house kind of schemes because I spent time around all the guys that did that stuff and they really taught me a lot about life and just being tough and getting through shit and not being a pussy essentially <laughs> to put it bluntly like that's really <laughs> what the vibe was when it came to that job so i really relate to that whenever he gets off on that kind of stuff i'm built to last forever better do your research ain't afraid of motherfuckers trying to knock down my boy that i don't need no money got what i need right here roots all around me i'm that breath of fresh air leaves in the breeze i've been standing right Self out like that. That was good too. You guys should go check that song out. Go show Southwind love. Southwind is awesome. I love you. Fucking awesome right here. Just traded his thing with us. I really liked this one a lot. Beautiful title track. The title track always has to have like a special kind of vibe to it, right? It doesn't have to be anything like over immaculate or like, like over dramatic or try hard or anything like that it just has to have like this really special kind of essence to it he selected the perfect beat to capture that essence and the spitting style on it what we come to expect from him hard hitting honest he says what he wants he doubles down on points that he's made in the past he reminds everybody that he still stands where he has already said he stands in previous releases. I like the continuation of everything. It's like he's putting out so much music so quickly, but he's just building on the story with each one of them and letting you know a little bit more about his own internal feelings, his internal conflicts and thoughts that he has when it comes to being an artist in the first place he throws you back to the past and reminds you where he came from and why he's not scared to be where he is now because he was built to be a badass through the things in his life that he's experienced and overcome already he's basically like <laughs> the way i see it is like from his perspective, it would be like, what makes you think that you're going to fucking defeat me when I barely had shit for most of my life and struggled to even have a proper pot to piss on or proper heating or electricity or whatever it is that the struggle was, proper running water, all that kind of shit that he's mentioned in his songs. What makes you think that you're going to defeat me when all of that just made me the toughest motherfucker that I possibly could have been? And that's what he doubles down on in every single fucking album. I love it. It's incredible. It's real. It's raw. It's honest. It's genuine. Just try you out here doing your thing, man. And I appreciate the hell out of it. Keep it up. The original video will be in the description. As always, y'all go subscribe to Just Trey. Show him love. Support his albums. He's got another one coming as well. So show him love. Independent artists work their asses off. We talked about that in this video as well. Make sure you go show him love. He deserves it. You did a great job on this one, brother. I really liked it a lot. We're going to get out of here on Vacasa Coffee. 
a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment, suggestion, subscribe up that way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.